Welcome back all. We're finishing up homework for two. And you gotta know we went over this in class, but this is for uh, for all posterity, so you can go back and check it out over and over again. We've uh, done one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we're gonna finish up now with number eight right here. So over on the right is with the actual question itself, and on the left here is where I'm gonna is where I'm gonna draw it. Yes, so we've got a whale um, at the surface and then diving down to some depth. So I'm going to start by drawing some water right here. There's my water. And uh, I'm going to make a red whale because that's the only other uh, color that I have. So let's see, that's a whale, and that's a tail. He's just about to, there we go, to dive down below. That's pretty weak whale tail, but uh, uh, anyway, should have a, let's do, there we go, sharper tail like that. Anyway, dives at an angle of 20 degrees below the horizontal. So if you recall, this is very similar to um, the, uh, the baseball press box from a couple questions back. So we've got our, our whale diving down and 20 degrees below the horizontal. So that is 20 degrees right there. And um, what else are we told about it? Ah, that the whale is continuing in a straight line for 150 meters. So that means that this right here, our hypotenuse, or what is going to become a hypotenuse, from there to where the whale starts is 150 meters. And let's just uh, complete this, this triangle. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that. I can simply make this triangle like this, can't I? Let's complete this triangle right here. So uh, this right here creates a, a 90 degree uh, 90 degree angle between the horizontal and the vertical right here. And uh, what we're asked, being asked is number one, how deep is it? So A right here, that value is what we want to find from here to here. How deep is it? And what is the horizontal displacement been? So we're going to call that, well, that's B right there, what we're being asked. So the horizontal displacement. I'm actually going to give these values a little bit later, but uh, um, this is this is how it's set up. So let's solve for A first. For A, and by the way, the, uh, the vertical depth for A, I'm going to call V. That's going to be our, our value, and V for vertical, and for since we're solving for B right here, I'm going to call that H for horizontal. I know, very inventive and creative, isn't it? Well, how deep is it? Let's look at number, let's look at question A. We have an angle right here, and uh, what we're trying to solve for is the side opposite the angle. So H, what we're trying to solve for is the opposite and what do we know? What other side do we know? <clears throat> we know that the hypotenuse right here, 150, oh gosh, I wrote 150 degrees. That's not right, is it? It's 150 what? 150 meters. Yeah. Sorry about that. 150 meters is what we know. Well, with this triangle, what is that? That's the hypotenuse, of course. So 150 meters is the hypotenuse. HYP and our angle. In question, the one we're, we're working with is 20 degrees. So what is H? What is the, uh, no, it's not even H. Oh, I'm going crazy. For A, we're not solving for H at all, are we? What are we solving for? It's, we call that V, right? Sorry, yeah, this is V, the opposite is V right there, that's what we're solving for. I thought something sounded funny. Yeah, how deep is it? That's a vertical displacement, right? That's a vertical distance, so we're solving for V. So, what sine function do we use? Well, what sides do we have? We have an O and an H. And if you go back and look at your Sokotoa, that SOH fits with that, which means that the sine of the angle equals opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, we're solving for the the, the, the opposite. Um, so we want to get the opposite by itself. Let me rewrite this again. Um, the sine of 
20 equals V, the opposite, over 150, 150 meters right there. So that means if we multiply both sides by 150, we'll get V by itself, and that means V, vertical distance, or the, the, the depth of the whale, is going to be 150 sine of 20 degrees. 150 sine 20. And so V is going to come out to be equal to 51. It's going to, or at least it's going to round to 51. 51 meters is our depth, our vertical depth V that the whale will be after moving in a straight line at 150 um, meters, in, uh, moving 150 meters in a straight line at angle 20 degrees below the horizontal. All right, let's do B then. Part B is we're solving for H, right? What's the horizontal displacement? H is what we want to find. Well, the angle that we know, 20, that horizontal displacement, or you could say it's up here, H is up here as well, with respect to the angle 20, that's an adjacent angle. So H is adjacent, A, D, J. The side that we know, once again, 150 meters is the, what is that with respect to the 20? Well, that's the hypotenuse, H, Y, P for hypotenuse. And again, our angle in question is still 20 degrees. Well, using our sine functions again, which one involves the A and the H? I think you're all thinking right now, of course, that is the K, the, the K and the Sokatoa, which of course means that the cosine of the angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of our angle, which is 20, 20 degrees, equals the adjacent h, which is what we want to uh, find, over the hypotenuse, which is 150 meters. And again, multiplying both sides by 150, comes up next to the cosine of 20, which means 150 cosine 20 degrees equals h, which gives us our horizontal distance, which rounds to 140 meters. Let's box that up right there. That's our part B, and that's our number eight. And frankly, that's all of homework 4.2. So we've gone through all of them, uh, uh, one through eight, uh, the rest of them being in different uh, videos, but uh, this is everything for homework four too. So I know we went over this in class, but again, I hope this uh, additional tutorial helps uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.